One, you're frozen. These two very old people are the father and mother of Mr. Bucket. And these two very old people on the other side of the bed are the father and mother of Mrs. Bucket. This is Mr. Bucket. And this is Mrs. Bucket. The small girl standing right there is Charlie Bucket, their only daughter, Snap. Here you go, Grandpa Joe. Cabbage soup. Every day. Nothing but cabbage soup. Cheer me up, Charlie. Tell me, what's the chocolate news? Well, Wonka's got a new bar out. Fudge Whipple or Mallow Based? Mallow Based with flavor shifters. Flavor shifters? My. High five. Papa, what's the latest cap count? Bella, passing soup out. One passing soup. million, two hundred and forty-nine thousand, two hundred and eighty-six perfectly installed toothpaste caps, Charlie. You think I might work in the toothpaste factory one day? Let's hope not, Charlie. What kind of positive thinking is that? Charlie's gonna work for Mr. Wonka, making candy bars. Now, Grandpa Joe, don't go filling the girl's head with dream dreams of candy. Charlie comes from a long line of distinguished candy men. And women. But Wonka hasn't hired anyone since Slugworth's spies stole the candy balloon recipe. Wonka was so angry. He gathered all the workers, saying, I'm sorry, but you all must go home. Then he locked the gates of the factory forever. Charlie says, um, but Mr. Wonka. But Mr. Wonka still makes candies. I can smell them on my way to school. Yes, but no one goes in and no one comes out. Shadow workers. Maybe the undead. But who knows? Grandpa Joe, you're going to give Charlie nightmares again. <sighs> what did she say? She's making bathtub gin. We're playing gin? I'm in. Charlie, run out and see if anyone's done with the newspaper. Okay, Dad, but you'll have to feed Grandpa George. Here you are, Mom. Your cabbage soup. I thought we were playing gin.